Now, aside from the economy, the other big thing that Trump people say over and over again is Trump is the law and order president. Now, I've already shot holes in why he's bad for the economy and really terrible for the economy, but this idea that he's the law and order president, I'm going to shoot this down immediately. Biden will have chaos in the streets if he's elected. Most of the clips Republicans have shown about a Biden dystopia are from Trump's time in office. They're from this year. They seem very worried about BLM and Antifa, but those groups have gotten nothing but bigger under Trump. Hell, Antifa exists as a reaction to Trump. During Obama, there were many protest groups, Occupy Wall Street and even Black Lives Matter itself, but they showed no pension for rioting like they have during Trump's last few months in office, I think partly due to his actions and the way that he fans the flames. Also, it's a little strange that the law and order POTUS is at war with the FBI, has had the most indicted and jailed administration in history, been impeached for asking foreign governments for election help, refuses to release his tax returns, has been sued 1,200 times in civil court, usually for cheating people, ran a Ponzi scheme during the 2016 campaign, Trump University, has had many corruption scandals to even tally, too many to even tally, has said he would not accept the results of this year's election if he loses, tried to dismantle the post office so he could cheat his way into a second term, constantly sucks up to or idolizes America's enemies while showing distrust of his own intelligence agencies, does not seem to actually know what the law is or does not care, thrives on chaos, bragged about obstruction of justice to Lester Holt, has encouraged his followers not to follow local laws like face masks, encourages militias, feeds off rioters or uses them for political gain, got Herman Cain killed by asking him not to wear a face mask during his Tulsa rally, has encouraged violence or vigilantes on a dozen occasions, including when he hid in the White House bunker while a fucking mob almost tore apart the gates of the White House, and may very well attempt to start a civil war when he loses re-election. This week alone, there's stories that he's going to try to rig the Electoral College in his favor. There is no reason to vote for Trump. None.